My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. If you have ever spent a day on the beach in Positano, sitting on the waterfront, you will no doubt have found at some point a little piece of coloured sea glass. We have lots of sea glass on the beaches in Positano, all different colours. The main colour that you're going to find is obviously beer bottle green or brown, but there's lots of other colours that you can find and some of them are more precious than others. The more creative amongst you will have collected some and maybe put it in a little box and taken it home with you as a reminder of your holiday. And a lot of people make things too. I have made picture frames and even decorated a whole bathroom cabinet with sea glass around the edges once. There is a brother and sister team in Positano that I'm going to go and meet today who have started up a beautiful jewellery range made with the sea glasses that they find on the beaches in Positano. And today we're going to go down to one of the little beaches and we're going to go and hunt for sea glass together. Let's go. That is something that I have never noticed before. Amazing. This waterfall is the excess water that is not being used and consumed in Positano. Oh, the diggies are they coming to get you? I am now down on this little beach with Alessio Mandara. Alessio, I have known him for many, many years. His uncle is a very good friend of mine, Antonello, who I also have worked for. Alessio and his sister, Michaela, have started up a beautiful Positano jewelry business. I'm gonna let Alessio tell you about it. Welcome, buongiorno. And uh, what's, uh, what we're doing, it's a uh, jewelry collection made with the stones that we personally collect with us and our sons from the, our personal beaches here in, in Fiumicello, in Positano. It all started exactly collecting the stones from the beaches, from starting from Fiumicello where it's our, the beach where we grew up. And then from here with kayaking, we've been around the coast, how Nikki does, we go around the coast uh, with cruise and stop in several beaches on the way and we collect the stones from different beaches and mm -hmm. then we realize even that each beach has different kind of stones, different kind of sizes depending on the currents and the waves that have influenced it. And uh, with this we are starting collecting the stones and we start to have a really nice collection of stones, unique colors. By and stones, uh, you mean sea glass? Sea glass, yeah. yeah. I, say, I say stones because for us it's more than just a sea glass. Yeah. Because it's hard to find it. You get so excited when you find a purple one, yeah. a really blue light blue one. one yeah. That's like a rare color for us. And then uh, you get excited like finding a, a really important stone. Even if it could, sounds like just simple glass. But there is all this story behind and a lot of work to make it look like more important. They, becomes just not just a simple glass but a jewel a actual jewel we put like a frame of silver a nine to five silver around the, each stones and each piece it's unique you will see if you go see at our collection you will notice that there is no one piece exactly same to the other one sometimes they have a similar uh pro purpose because it's the same it's a bracelet it's a earrings they have the same shape of a they hold the stone, but the stone is always different. Okay. Then if you want something unique, that's the right collection for you. Okay, right, let's go and find some stones. Look a nice one. Well, uh, huh? <laughs> a really nice yellow one. Beautiful color, but the shape's not pretty, not very good at all. Uh, Darker blue. Ooh, huh? blue is special. We don't. Have yeah, the, blue. it's been wavy the past two days, and that's like for me, it's the perfect days, because when it gets wavy, the move, the stone moves, and you 
sea glass comes out. Ooh, let's see what else we can find. Found in the last two days. In the last two days. Hard work with me and my little daughter. We found these all nice blue ones, amber one, a lot of green. those just in a couple of seconds look at this one wow huh beautiful colors Amazing. that's a perfect ring this is a good size for a perfect ring Ma è giusto lo sfizio, ma è giusto lo sfizio perché poi che fai? Ma che bello! Ecco mi sei gelosa tu! It is a lovely day to be on the beach with this lot, but we are <laughs> surrounded by fluffy doggies too. Non ti vedo più. Are you hungry? I'm really hungry. I'm starving. I think it is time the, for lunch. No, we have a we had a great picking day. We got enough stones to make new jewelry for you. And it is gone one o'clock and we are starving, so we're gonna make our way up for lunch now. goodbye to Alessia and I'm just sitting here on my scooter and look who's arrived with an amazing box full of mulberries yum yum thank you <laughs> so I'm gonna take those home and maybe make some muffins with them or maybe we'll just eat them just like that off the tree and warm from the Sun uh, a couple of people have asked me why am I still wearing a mask if we're allowed out because that's the rules if you're going out and you're in public or you're with where other people might be you still have to wear a mask here in Italy so I'm just obeying the rules. I've just got home. Look at these beauties. Yum, yum. Good morning. It is ridiculously dark. It is nine o'clock in the morning. I'm going to turn this light off and show you how dark it is. It is not normally this dark in the house at this time in the morning. It's normally bright. Let's check what's going on with the weather here. It's so dark, the chicken's probably gonna go back to bed. Yes, Montepetroso seems to have vanished. There are no mountains above the house. Well, rain has not been forecast, so we're gonna carry on doing what we were gonna be doing. We're gonna go to the valley where I got the elderflowers and we're gonna get some more because um, that elderflower cordial that I made, two litres of it, is almost finished already. And we're gonna stop off at the florist and pick up the stuff that we ordered yesterday. And I was right, it is very foggy today. I hardly see the church. Let's go and pick some more elderflowers with Carlo's help. We'll probably get twice the amount. Guarda quanto è bello quel carrellino che va sticcimento. Guarda, sta sta smutando. Wow, bello. A carella to climb steps with a cement mixer incorporated on top of it. Even Cousin Pepe is laughing because he said immediately that's exactly what Carla would want. Okay, let's collect some flowers. Prima voi vedere a scary tunnel. No, Carlo, è da... tutti dicono che è pericoloso. Pericoloso è pericoloso. Ah, è pericoloso, no. Perché non vieni anche tu? No, proprio. Ho paura di che cosa. sente più forte qua la tua voce che lì che fai mi stai chiedendo dentro no, 
vedo la luce, vedo, vedo, vedo l'umanità. <ride> Okay, we've definitely got enough um, and we're going to go and do the other things around town that we need to do now and so I think I'm going to be spending the rest of the day making elderflower cordial. Luckily I've got a few little helpers coming up to give me a hand today. We will also be making pasta for lunch which might give you a clue as to who is coming. What I didn't show you yesterday that I bought is Luca gave me a voucher on my birthday to choose a plant at the florist and I have chosen this beautiful vintage rose which okay a lot of it's in flower already but there's quite a few buds left and it will be beautiful next year and I'm going to put it right in front of the house. It always amazes me how much stuff we can actually fit on one scooter. We've got a giant sack of earth, we've got a rose bush and a pot two other flowers, a dog and two humans and a fruit picking stick. So the flowers are all going in there. The sack is staying on the front and Holly's going to sit on the sack. So you'd have turned into a question man. So I've got to hold that and that. Opala! Mettila! Sta bien? No, mo, metti in modo. Metti in modo, dai. Cagnolino. Cagnolino. Cipi. Davidino. Vai. Grazie, Pasquale. Prego, ciao a tutti. So we have some pasta makers here today that have come over to make lunch for us. Hello. <laughs> Rosie and Lenny, the famous pasta making girls of Positano. <laughs> and if you didn't know, me and Elizabeth have done a cookbook together where they teach you how to make pasta exactly like this. Loads of photos of Rosie and Lenny. <laughs> There's loads of handmade pasta recipes, so if you've got little kids, it's really good fun to do with them. So we're all making our own pasta today, and it's quite late already, it's nearly two o'clock, so we're not going to be eating probably till about three, but that's okay, because it will taste all the better. All of these recipes are in the book that we released last week, and I will leave the link in the description box down below. Ok, dobbiamo iniziare a lavorare adesso, no? Sì, adesso lei fa sempre... Che stai dicendo? Fa un gatto, penso. Wow! fresh pasta, uh, you just cook it until it's all floating. When it's floating, that means it's ready. Alright, let's eat. You hungry? Guys, turn to wear my slippers today. It's pretty seems to take it in turns. Nicole has been wearing them, Rose has been wearing them, Carla doesn't fit into them. And here 
here is a very rare sight. Elizabeth lying on a sun lounger. I don't think that has ever been seen before. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so we're going to make some more elderflower coffee and I have my helpers. Holly is not doing much help sitting on the elderflowers. Are you? Yeah, you can have that. There we go. <laughs> Rosie! Rosie! Rosie. <laughs> you are so stupid! Okay, I've done it differently this time. I have added the lemon and I'm leaving the chunks of lemon in there and I've added some citric acid, which will act as a preservative and keep it, make help it last longer. It's much prettier than the last one because I've used white sugar. Okay, let's leave that for about three days. And this is what I've ended up with. I've got nearly five bottles of elderflower cordial. I actually didn't have enough bottles, so I've had to use an old tomato jar, but that's absolutely fine. Once, once this bottle is empty, I will put that into that. And I'm very happy with that. I'm not gonna tell you what he's doing. I'm gonna leave it for you to guess. What do you think he is doing now? I am just taking Holly out for a little walk. We are very near home, but we're just on this little terrace garden here and she's having a little sniff around. I thought I'd answer a few questions that came in. Um, I've been asked a couple of times if the ferries run all year. No, they do not. The ferries run season seasonally. They start up at Easter or just before Easter, depending on when Easter is in the year. But Easter is always a good marker for the beginning of the season and they run till about the beginning of November. The season is pretty much the same for everything. So whether it's ferries, shops, hotels, or anything else, you're gonna pretty much get the same time. So Easter is the beginning and the end of, the end of October and beginning of November is the end of the season. So most places start shutting up around about the very end of October through till about the 10th of November. And then from then onwards, pretty much everything is closed. You'll have a few restaurants that will stay open until Christmas and New Year, but after Christmas and New Year, everything shuts and then it's really really quiet until Easter starts up again. But people have asked if, if I come in November and December will the shops be open? The majority of the shops in Positano will be closed. Sorrento stays open, everything in Sorrento is open and quite a few things in Amalfi stay open but Positano is very much a seasonal town. Best month to see the flowers and the wisteria I would say now may may is the time to be here if you want to see the flowers the wisteria is a bit earlier it's in april bear in mind that the wisteria blooms about two weeks later in Ravello than it does in Positano. It's just a slightly different climate up in Ravello. It's higher up and it's much cooler than in Positano am i going to get more chickens no <laughs> four is enough we're getting four eggs a day which is more than enough and we're giving a lot of eggs away to Carlo's parents and his aunt and his cousins so we definitely don't need any more chickens right now <laughs> Uh, another question I got is, have I been to America? Yes, I have been to America many, 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 many times. Um, my family used to have an apartment in Florida, so I have been there countless times. I've been to New York about three times. I've been to San Francisco and I've been to Los Angeles. I've been to Georgia. I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Now let's head back home because tonight should be a very exciting night. We're going to send Sky and Nicola, her boyfriend, off to get pizza because there are now two restaurants open in Positano. They're only open for takeaway and one of them does pizza. So we're going to send them down to Positano to pick up some pizza and that means that I don't have to cook, which is a huge relief because I am sick to death of cooking twice a day every day and I'm actually quite excited to eat pizza as well because obviously I haven't had a pizza for a long time apart from a couple of pizzas that we made a few weeks ago which were good but not quite the same as pizza in a wood fired oven.